Mele Kalikimaka. What a, what a wonderful, wonderful phrase. phrase. <laughs> if you ever heard this expression, would you think it is related in any way to standard English? Guess what? It is. It is an expression they use in Hawaii in December. So now that I gave you this hint, what do you think it means? Hmm. They use this expression in Hawaii in December and to be more specific, on December 25th. Now it's easy, right? So Mele Kalikimaka is the Hawaii's way to say Merry Christmas to you. So if the original expression is Merry Christmas, why would they say Mele Kalikimaka? So to understand that, you have to know that from the 50 states in the United States of America, only one has more than one official language. And that's Hawaii, where they have English and Hawaiian as official languages. And in Hawaiian, they don't have some of the phonemes that we can find in standard English. For example, they don't have the phonemes to represent the sounds R and S. So, Merry Christmas is an expression where you find both of these phonemes. More than that, they don't have syllables ending in consonants. So, Merry Christmas, in this expression you can find syllables ending in consonants. And more than that, there is a third constraint, that is, we don't have um, consonants going together in words. So, considering only these three restrictions, you already cannot pronounce Merry Christmas. So the closest they can get is Mele Kalikimaka. And this expression became more famous back in 1949 when Mr. Robert Alex Anderson wrote a song called Mele Kalikimaka. You can find many versions of this song online. My personal favorite is from a Canadian band called Walk Off the Earth. But you can find other ones and let me know if you like that. Um, I'm curious now about your language. Are there any words or expressions that you borrowed from another language and you had to adapt so that you could pronounce them? Let me know. That's all for now and you'll see me next time. Bye-bye.